it going guys? How are ya? It's, uh, it's raining right now, Friday afternoon. Oh, what a week. Oh, what a week it's been. You know, it's been like three times in the last, oh, I'd say week to ten days where I've been like, you know, afternoons, you know, daytime. I had an RDO, so I had a day off and that. And like, I'm like, you know, I'm like, oh man, it's looking pretty sweet out. I want to get on the bike. So, I've looked outside, and, um, oh man, so many bumps on this corner. I looked outside, and I'm like, oh yeah, sweet. Chuck my jacket on, grab my helmet, grab my gloves, locking up, walking out, and it just starts raining. Like, it's happened three times, and it happened again tonight. That's what this is. And, I, you know, the other two times I bailed on it. Check that moon out. Nice. You know, the other two times I bailed on it, I'm like, oh man, I'm not riding in this shit. You know, who wants to ride in the rain, like, unless you have to, you know, you're commuting to work or something. But when you've got a choice, who wants to ride in the rain? And then, but tonight I'm just like, stop it, you know? Three times. So I'm like, no, that's it. I'm going. Regardless of the weather, that's just how I roll tonight anyway. So anyway, the week's over, the working week. It's been another another slogger week. It's been such a hard week. So I'm going to pick up some grog. I'm going to get my din din. And my girlfriend's coming over. Give me some of that treatment. Yep. The kind of attention that only a woman can give. Or another man, if that's your thing. <laughs> Hey man, whatever floats your boat, whatever, whatever works. So like, I went to the pub this afternoon, after work, as you do on a Friday. You know, being sociable and all that. And uh, it just so happens that they got a jelly pit going on at the pub. With some uh, topless jelly wrestling. The young girls, 18, 19, whatever. G-strings tits out, in the jelly pit, getting their wrestle on. So that was pretty cool, pretty entertaining, like you're sinking one back. Ah. But you know, nothing, uh, nothing beats your missus, that's how I see it anyway. Ah, okay, some, what do I get tonight, what do I feel like, sometimes I feel like you know, like cocktails or something different, something fruity, something metro. Other times, I just want bourbon, bourbon and coke, straight up. I'm not a beer drinker. I don't, I don't do beers anymore. They just give me headaches now for some reason. I don't know why. I'm all about bourbon. But yeah, anyways, um, I looked up. Ah, oh, man, rain. You get it, like, it's only just been this lightest little bit of rain, hey, just, just a little bit, you know, just enough to wet that, that oil on the road, just to make it slippery as hell, you know. I'd actually rather it be pouring right now than what it's doing. More slippery now. Yes, yeah, so anyway, I was just saying, I looked up, um, a few mods for the 300 here. Got a little excited. I was looking on eBay and a few other motor man power or something. Motor, motor power man or something like that. Just Google it, it'll come up. Um, and I, I found some uh, power commander. Yeah, I'm watching you, buddy. Yeah, you just stay there. Uh, I was watching um, the internet and looking at a power commander. Number five. V. Uh, apparently it's all new. It's, it's lighter and smaller and easier than the Power Commander 3. And I know what the Power Commander does now. It commands power! <laughs> so it just makes for easier tuning. Um, well, any tuning, I think. I don't think you can tune a stock ECU. Unless, you know, your idea of tuning is saying, yeah, it's working fine. So, the Power Commander, I looked at a K&N air filter. 
Uh, what else do I look at? Um, I had a bit of a look for full exhaust systems, but I think I decided that was too hard basket. I think I, did, I think I threw that in the too hard basket. I'll just leave that. I got the slip on anyway. Oh, why'd I come this way anyway? Um, yeah, so that's so it's the power commander, uh, air filter. I already got the slip on, and then a dyno tune and all that. Oh, and removing the baffle out of the exhaust. Bang bang. So I thought, yeah, man, sweet. I'm gonna g this up. I looked at how much it cost, and the power commander was like, oh, I don't know, like 400 bucks. And it was actually like 400 bucks for a tune too. That's you know, that's pretty exy on a little bike like this. And then about another 60 bucks for the K&N filter. So I don't know, you wouldn't get much much change out of a grand, I guess. So I got a pretty good mechanic now. Same place I got the dyno done. And I sent him an email just saying, uh, what do you reckon about this? Do you reckon it's worth it? Like, do you think I'll get a significant power gain? And what I mean by significant is like, Am I going to notice it? Because, I mean, you, you spend a thousand bucks, you want to, you want some bang for your buck, you know? You want to notice it. I'm not expecting to, like, keep up with a 600 or anything, but I'm just expecting to be like, wow, this is so much better to ride. So I sent them an email, you know, honestly, what are your thoughts? And they sent me back, uh, and, you know, and they said, Phil, like, honestly, don't waste your money. You won't really, you know, you might gain two or three or four horsepower, but you probably won't really notice the difference. Not worth it for the money. You know, are you keeping the bike when you get a 600 or when you upgrade? You know, that sort of thing. If you're selling it, don't bother. So I appreciate that. That's good. That's an honest opinion, professional opinion. So, you know, it's like, yeah, all right. I'll, uh, I'll just wait then. I'll stick with the old girl how she is. Uh, so yeah, that's that. All the all these little items I had on my watch list on eBay, I'll just unwatch them, take them away from the list. Cause I, I mean, I still get the air filter because that was like 60 bucks, and I've heard that the standard filter is just like really, really dodgy. So I'll get that anyway. It'll just be, um, you know, I'm selling the bike in like six months, so. It'll just be one of those things that's on the for sale ad. Another perk. So that's that then. I was hoping, like, if it, if it was going to give me an extra 10 horsepower, I mean, I don't know much about bikes, you know, how they how they work, like, um, as far as mods and stuff goes. I did a bit to it, like, the Skyline when I had it. And I've had a Sylvia before and things like that. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm saying it's probably not worth it. If I was going to gain 10 horsepower, then yeah, I'd do it for sure, because you'd really notice 10 horsepower. But not for the uh, two or three or whatever they reckon. Probably not worth it. If money was no object, well, if, if money was no object, I'd just take it into the shop one weekend and just leave with them and be like, yeah, man, just do what you want to it. Just make it quicker. And they could, you know, spend thousands on. I'm sure. That, I'm sure there's like heaps of shit you can do. But obviously, I don't. I don't work my fingers to the bone all week just to do that. And oh, that's not an exaggeration, man. I cut my hand so bad, like a few months ago. It was like, oh man, it's like an alien hand. Got all stitched up. Where am I going? I'm going straight. 